really the title of the class speaks for itself. It's uh, does Sakari reject Paul in the book of Hebrews? The answer is simply no. And I can end the live stream right here. Whatever is not a faith is sin. You said the leader of the camp right now said that's not true. You don't agree with that. Whatever's not a faith is sin. Whatever's not a faith is sin. It's not a faith is sin. You said the leader of the camp right now said that's not true. Said that's not true. Said that's not true. I don't agree with that. I but I just I just said that earlier. So Paul has the Holy Spirit. So whatever's not anything, a faith. Everything Paul says isn't about the Holy Spirit. That's a fact. So an end of discussion. Yeah. And if these guys don't believe in the full Bible. I just read is not true. It's not the word of God. It's not the word of God. Does Sakari reject Paul in the book of Hebrews? The answer is simply no. It's not the word of God. The answer is simply no. It's not the word of God. Everything this is first. not the word of God. This Everything this is not the word of God. Are you talking about Nah, I keep all the laws. I keep all the laws. Nah, I keep all the laws. Nah, I keep all the laws. I keep all the laws. Nah, I keep all the laws. I keep all the laws. It's not the word of God. Take the law on tablets of stone. Am I right? Okay, now continue. Not in tables of stone, but in the fleshly tables of the heart. Keep going. Okay. As such, trust have we through Christ to God work. Yes. Verse, th verse 5. Uh -huh. Now, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything of as of ourselves, but our su sufficiency is of God, mm -hmm. who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. But of the Spirit. Who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. But of the Spirit. I keep all the laws. I keep all the laws. Nah, I keep all the laws. I keep all the laws. Nah, I keep all the laws. I keep all the laws. But of the spirit. But of the spirit. Nah, I keep all the laws. I keep all the laws. Nah, I keep all the laws. I keep all the laws. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders, even the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you, other brother and you followers of the truth. Shalom also to you, elect. Uh, anyway, I want to go in this video here with the uh, the Deacon Sakari destruction mode, what you want to call it. Um, first thing I want to say, you know, I, we're going to go into maybe a couple of scriptures. Matthew, was it? Matthew 25, really, this is where it hits home with these guys. But, you know, the scripture says... Um, you know, give double honors to the elders that rule well, you know. I wonder who's these guys' elders. Who's these, who's these so-called brothers' elders, man? Where did they learn everything that they learn? They have now blatantly disrespect not only their elders, but even the ones before them, you know. The order that was set up through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You can be mad, you know, you can not agree, but the, the, the blatant disrespect of how you will call one apostle an apostle and give him the title, but then you'll call another apostle straight, you know. See, you guys shouldn't be calling the apostles or elders, you shouldn't even be using that title, right, because you're reprobates. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to say that before I got started. Um, these guys, they have an issue really with faith. They have an issue with Yahweh Shah. These guys, in their mindset, they can keep the whole law. This is what Deacon Haka said. He keeps the whole law. I doubt that. I'll doubt that from the Passover on up. I doubt that. You know, he's not keeping the whole law. But this is what they're saying. So these guys are making it up. And this is why they have to throw out the letters of Paul 
so they can stick with the, the you know the deception of keeping a whole law because Paul you know speaks against in in what we teach against being able to keep the whole law because you can't he's not against the law but it's the fact that we can't keep the whole law so this is what Yahweh came for this is why his name is the deliverer and this is why Hebrews 8th chapter when the new covenant will be established then he said I will write my laws in your heart right in your spirit now if you already had the whole law and you could keep the whole law then Yahweh would have already wrote it written it in your spirit then that means we would be in the new covenant as well so I don't know if these guys teach that but there was a couple scriptures that he went into with 2 Corinthians when he was dealing see the Christians they're wrong too but the fact that these guys are saying that they can keep the whole law and the Christians are saying they're trying to just do away with the law together so you got one one debater that's why you guys need to debate together you know y'all meant for one another y'all both on opposite sides of the fence but y'all both don't have the truth you got one Christian who's saying you don't have to keep the law at all. I hear that from Christians. Then you got a, an Israelite who's saying you got to keep the whole law. I mean, this is a page out of IUIC's book. You know, they see Nate is making the money, so they're trying to take that page out of his book. I don't know. But um, I'm not going to make this long, but let's go to Romans 1. This guy, this deacon, he says, and his followers, they said, Everything uh, uh, Paul said is not a law. They say they believe in Apostle Paul and a book of Hebrews, but then they reject it. They reject a lot of the things he said. And you know the scripture says if any man add, Revelation 22, add to the words or take it away, that he would take your part out of the book of life. Now, he did go on to say in the video where James uh, went off or whatever, he did go into that. But the fact is, the uh, the teachings is the teachings and the most important things in the teachings these guys are trying to throw out they're, see they're, they're not concerned he brought up the thing about James but they're not concerned about that they're really concerned about making the argument to debate a Christian so now when Paul says whether well, Jew or Greek male or female Jew or Gentile you all one in, in Christ right which is a made up name, you all want to Yahweh then these guys can say everything Paul said is not the word of God. Anyway, uh, Romans 1 and 1, uh, Paul, a servant of Yahweh called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of Yahweh. So you mean to tell me Paul was called as a servant of Yahweh to be, uh, to, to spread the gospel even go to the spirit world, come back with the knowledge, and go to Timotheus and to the churches, and and you know, and doing this ministry, and then you got guys like this who look at Edo's forms and pull what they could pull out to make a doctor. This is madness. But anyway, I want to go to Matthew twenty-five. Okay, it says then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps this is called the parable of the ten virgins and went forth to meet the bridegroom right and five of them were wise and five were foolish okay this is why these guys is kind of throwing out Paul Hebrews and they're making their own doctrine because they're not really about Yahweh man they're not you know in their mindset We'll get to that too. There's a scripture for that as well. It says, They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. And this is what happened when these guys walked off. They, they went out and they didn't take no oil with them. They might have had a little in the bottom, but they really took no oil with them when they, they just decided to leave, do their own thing, and come up with their own doctrines. And you see them wax worse and worse. Right? But the wise took oil 
in their vessels and their lamps. So you might even had brothers who left or didn't really leave for whatever reason. They stayed with the doctrine and they kept on pushing and continue what they'd been taught. That's why the Paul and these letters are very important. Because what if it wasn't for Paul? What if, you know, you know, think about it. They, Paul had a very important mission. Right? This is crazy, man. It says, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And that's when they went into those new false doctrines. You know, this is what Phoebe did as well. This is why all these guys that debate one another, they're all bug outs. <laughs> they're all bug outs. Okay? And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, right? And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil, for our lamps are gone out. And this is a prime example of why this guy Deacon is saying, Well, uh, I, I love you, Apostle. That's my teacher. But then he has no love or no respect for anybody else, even if he doesn't like him or care for him. But he doesn't show the respect. Because you're trying to get that oil, man. Your lamps have gone out. But the wise answer saying, not so. <laughs> not so. Lest there be not enough for us and you. This is why we got to seek our salvation, you know. But go ye rather to them and sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And this is what happened with these guys, man. While they out there slumbering. Right, trying to make a name for themselves, trying to make these apparels and use the law, you know, that you can keep the whole law so you can amplify yourself and, and, and heighten yourself as an idol of Israel and sell the apparel. That's what you know, that's why the Lord's gonna get you, you know, if you don't repent from that. And when you know, they're not looking for the uh downfall of Babylon, man. They're looking to be deeper. Than every other Israelite out here. The donations, the money, it's all about the money. What's the one thing, two things Jake want? Money and women. And I got a lot of stuff, let me say that, on you guys dealing with these women, man. And these harlots. You Jakes, you've been you've been bad boys. You know? <laughs> you ought to call yourself the bad boys. Anyway. And it goes on to say, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. And that's why I wanted to get to this next scripture. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 7, which I was going to, John 10, where it says, um, he that enters not, uh, by the door into the sheepfold but climb up, up some other way the same as a thief and a robber and that's what these guys are doing man they're removing the scriptures they don't they, they claim they don't worship Yahweh Shah right understanding what that means they don't you know they're they're climbing in some other way right they're trying to do their own thing without a particular order okay it's all about order um, let's go to Matthew 7 and 13 enter ye in the straight gate for wide is the gate right and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction you got a whole bunch of groups that pop up right uh, you know and we, we don't hate these groups Lord willing I'm the elect Lord willing we the elect the, let's say the hopeful elect but you're going to have a lot of guys a lot of people don't know when, when you read these scriptures uh, on the hedges, cry aloud, spare not, lift up their voice like a trumpet, and show my people there's transgression. These are also going to you, Jakes, that's in the truth. A lot of these scriptures you read on the hedges go to you, Jakes, man. A lot of them, you know. In fact, <laughs> all of them. It go for us as well, you know. Anyway, and many there be which go thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life, and few 
there be that find it. Right, and this is what happened with these guys. They go and they go way into the left field, you know. That that goes also to the parable of the sower as well. Some fell on stony ground, some fell, right? Some fell by the riches, you know, when you go and break down those words. You know? It's it's a whole lot to it, man. Let's go back to Matthew twenty five. But he answered and said, Verily I said unto you, um, let me see what it says here. Right. Uh, but verily, I, but he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Now let me go to 10. So like I miss some. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, right? Bidding to Yahweh, right? That's why Matthew 22 and 9 says, Go ye to, therefore to the highways and bid to the marriage. And it says, And the door was shut. Right, just like we go back in the story of Noah, right? Afterward came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. We can also see this in Matthew 7 when it says, Many shall say to me, Lord, Lord, but shall not enter the kingdom. That's what this is talking about. It says, Lord, Lord, open it to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Why? Because you're not subscribing to what the Most High set up with his son. And who he set out to uh, bring this word out. Even to this day. You knew the truth. Then it goes on to say. Watch therefore. For ye know neither the day. Nor the hour when the son of man cometh. Right. So I thought this was interesting. And this um, parable. Automatically. Uh, of, the, the, of the ten virgins. Automatically made me think about these guys. Right off the top. Anyway, that's all I hope this is edifying. That's all I have on that. Shalom.